In this lesson, I'll show you how to predict the genotype of an offspring given what we know about probability. The question reads, what is the probability that two individuals of the genotype capital A little a, capital B little b, and little a little a, capital B little b, will have an offspring that has this particular genotype? The way we approach such a problem is we start by looking at the genotypes of the parents. So this is the first parent and that's the second parent. You can do this the hard way by creating a dihybrid cross, but there's actually a much simpler way to do it, and that's by taking the individual genes and crossing those only as a monohybrid cross. For example, since this is the first parent and that's the second parent, the first parent has the genotype for this gene being a little a, one dominant, one recessive. And the second parent has the genotype little a, little a. This is homozygous recessive. If we do a monohybrid cross here, we get capital A, little a, little a, little a, capital little, and two littles. The probability that the offspring will inherit little a, little a, given this cross that we did, is two out of four, or half. So there's a 50% chance that the offspring will have the genotype little a, little a. If we do the same thing for the other gene, where we have a heterozygous situation in both cases, doing this monohybrid cross gives us two capital B's, capital B, little b, capital B, little b, and two little b's. So they want the probability that the offspring will be homozygous recessive for both genes. Well, in this case, there's a one in four chance that they will be little b, little b. So we take these two probabilities, half and a quarter, and you multiply them. Multiplying these two fractions gives you one and eight. So there's a one in eight chance that the offspring will have this particular genotype. Let's apply this logic to question two. This one's a much more complicated situation. We have five genes that we're dealing with labeled A through E. And in the first of two questions, this should be called A and that should be called B. In the first of two questions says, what is the probability that the offspring will have the genotype shown here? So again, we have to create five different monohybrid crosses for each of these genes, unlike in the previous example where we had only two genes. So the first monohybrid cross will be capital and little a crossed with capital and capital A. The other one will be this one and this one. Then we have C little c and two little c's two little d's and two capital D's. And finally, a heterozygous situation for the last gene. So let's create these monohybrid crosses. Here we have the following. Here we have capital B, capital B, capital little b, capital, capital, and capital little b. Over here, c, little c, and two little c's. Capital little, little, little. Big D, little d, and it should be the same for all. And over here, capital E, capital E, heterozygous, heterozygous, and homozygous recessive. So the offspring is heterozygous for the first gene, and the chances of that are 1 and 2. The chances of capital B, capital B are 1 and 2 for this situation. Over here, it is, again, 1 over 2, capital D, little d, 1, 2, 3, 4. And capital E, capital E is 1 and 4. We multiply all these out. So we have 2 times 2 times 2, that makes 8, times 4, that's 32. 
1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. That's 1 in 32. The next question shouldn't be difficult. So this time they want capital A, capital A. That's a 1 in 2 chance. Capital B, capital B, 1 and 2. Capital C, capital C does not happen at all. So it's multiplied by 0. Now, we don't even need to continue with this calculation because anything times 0 makes 0. There is a 0% chance that this offspring will have the following genotype. No chance. And there you have it. That is how to predict genotype of offspring using what we know about probability and crosses.